having a hard time getting this video started. <laughs> Every Tuesday I would like to do a, a recipe, a keto friendly recipe. Um, I, I, I realize I haven't been all that active. Heck, the last week or so I've gotten multiple comments on my videos asking me uh, why, where have I, basically asking me where I've been. Um, I've been kind of uh, absorbed by other hobbies. Uh, I do want to do the, key, the the YouTube stuff is just just kind of absorbed by other products pro projects lately, but um, <laughs> it's uh, the the kind of uh, year for time of year for uh, uh, chili. Uh, although last couple of days have been all that bad, um, I don't know what the weather's gonna be like when I actually get around to uploading it. But uh, um, but yeah, it's that's the time you get year again for uh, chili. Um, I know I realize I have quite a few uh, chili recipes on my uh, channel, but uh, um, I think this is going to be my new favorite uh, kind of chili. Um, usually if I make chili, I'll usually fall back on the uh, the basic chili uh, re video that I made a while back. That was a long while back. Or the uh, the video, I, or, or the, the stuff I made, uh, taco chili, which is also really pretty good. But uh, both of those chilies have beans in them, and uh, beans isn't apparently isn't all that great for the the keto diet. <laughs> Again, it's one of those rest, that one of those foods that uh, those carbs are probably better. Th bean carbs are probably better than uh, you know biscuit carbs. But uh, still, some people get religious about uh, carb intake and stuff about that. In fact, the the uh, the taco chili has a hominy in it, which is uh, basically processed corn. But, um, and this, this chili recipe doesn't have beans at all. And, uh, and, uh, all the, the if I remember right, all the, the other, uh, chili recipes on my uh, channel are, uh, slow cooker recipes. Um, and slow cookers are pretty handy and they're, they're pretty nice. But, uh, uh, this, uh, Instant Pot that I picked up seemed to be, seems to be a, uh, kind of like a slow cooker on fast forward. Um, I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but, uh, it's so far pretty handy. Um, so instead of having a, a, a chili sitting there for eight hours, I was going to be there sitting there for, uh, it says, uh, for 30 minutes or whenever it gets around to depressurizing. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. 15 times a try. Let's start it. Um, sorry for the printer in the background going off. Um, the, uh, here's all what's in it. I'm uh, starting off with, uh, the online recipe calls for uh, two and a half pounds of ground beef. I'm going to go ahead and use all three pounds, um, mainly because I don't have a whole lot of recipes that call for half a pound of uh, ground beef, and it seems to be a waste to throw away half a pound of ground beef. Anyway, um, it'll call for a half of a large onion. I'm going to go ahead and use the other half on eggs and stuff. Um, but, uh, it calls for, this kind of part kind of gets me a chocolate. It calls for eight cloves of garlic. I'm kind of a little disappointed I discovered this uh, recipe after Halloween because that would have kind of been fun jokes. But anyway, uh, two 14 and a half ounce cans of uh, diced tomatoes, a six ounce can of tomato paste, a four ounce can of green chilies, uh, diced green chilies, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, when I first came across a recipe, I thought it was a, a, a typo, but it calls for a quarter a cup of uh, chili powder and then two tablespoons of uh, cumin uh, one tablespoon of oregano two teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of pepper one bay leaf and then if necessary a half a cup of water that's all that's in it it's basically uh, basic chili stuff um, so uh, let me go ahead and get started. Okay, I got the uh, the half of the onion uh, chopped up and uh, put in the pot on saute. Um, it says do it for about uh, just saute five or six minutes or until the the onion goes uh, translucent. Um, just a random thought popped up. I don't know why. I, it could have been nice to have some um, olive oil or some kind of uh, fat to keep that uh, lubricated. I, I made this uh, recipe uh, several times now. I just now thought about it. It's strange that they don't have a, that in there. But uh, while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and mince up the, the garlic. Um, <laughs> normally, 
a normal recipe only has like two or three uh, cloves of garlic. I don't know why it calls for eight cloves of garlic. Yeah, normally I would just, I saw a, a, a video quite a while ago that you take the flat of the, the knife, you sl uh, smash the, the clove and then chop up the, the clove. But uh, I don't feel like chopping up until uh, midnight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, I picked up a, a garlic press. Um, I picked up one of these before, but it smashed <laughs> that. Uh, I, I found out about the knife trick when, uh, on my second uh, garlic press, it's pressed right, the grate right off of the, the garlic press. So hopefully I can get that working. Okay, that went on for a while. Um, that garlic press did work pretty well on getting that garlic minced up. So now I'll go ahead and get that mixed in. And I'll let that sit for about a minute. Okay, that's been about a minute now, so now I'll add in the, the ground beef. I'll just get the, the ground beef all mixed, dip and mixed in. And it says cook, let it cook for seven or eight minutes or just until it, the meat is brown. So I'll let that do that thing. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the, the hamburger's done browning. Um, another one of those online recipes where it doesn't specify to drain it, but I'm going to go ahead and do so because, wow. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and uh, drain it. So now I'll go ahead and add everything except for the bay leaf. So I'll start with the chili powder. Cumin. Oregano. Salt and pepper. Green chilies, diced tomatoes, undrained, half cup of water, Worcestershire sauce, the tomato sauce, which I'll have to open the other side of the can to get that out, but that'll be added in. Okay, um, I've got the tomato sauce in there and everything all mixed up, so I'll get that all all stirred up. Now that I got it all stirred up, I'll go ahead and add in the bay leaf. Stick the bay leaf right in there and then I'll put the lid on. And then I'll put it to meat for 35 minutes. Mm, high pressure. Turn the, make sure the lid's on and uh, that should do it. There it goes. It'll get up to pressure and sit for 35 minutes on high pressure. Okay, the timer timed out now. So uh, now it, will, it gives you the option of using the quick release uh, valve on there or letting it decompress uh, naturally. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let it just uh, decompress as it goes because the great thing about chili is the uh, longer it sits there, the more the flavors all get uh, absorbed into everything. It's, and I'm kind of curious, also kind of curious to see how long it takes to uh, decompress. So, um, so I'll just let that sit for a while and see how it goes. Okay, it's been about half an hour. Uh, the pin fell down. Um, I'll, I'll admit I poked it. But, <laughs> yeah, so now I'll go ahead and take off the, uh, the lid. Yeah, it smells nice. Still has that uh, bean chili smell. I wonder how much of that smell was actually the chili. I always thought that was the beans. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'll get that all stirred up. Oh crap! There was supposed to remove that uh, bay leaf. Now I'm sure I'll find it in there somewhere. Because you're not really supposed to eat those. Not that they're like poisonous or anything, from what I read online. I was kind of curious one day when I was looking up all the recipes that you're supposed to pull the bay leaf out before you're eating it. But it seems like the bay leaf in itself isn't bad for you. It's just not pleasant eating that leaf. Oh, here it is. Yank that out. And I'll get that served up. Okay, there's it all dished out. Uh, it, the online recipe is... The recipe online said it would make uh, 10 servings, but it looks like uh, closer to 8 satisfying servings. So, um, I don't know if I just 
it's, the, it's like bigger servings than the person who set up the recipe online. But uh, yeah, the link in the description. But uh, yeah, I'd say that's I, my new favorite chili recipe because um, the slow cooker recipe calls for eight hours on low, uh, four hours on high. But uh, this is closer to um, see about an hour because it takes, uh, let's call it be decent, say uh, about 20 minutes to set up and then half an hour in the in the pressurized cooker and then if you feel like it uh you can just release it right then or let it set for another half an hour so two hours as opposed to four hours or eight hours on um but yeah this is my uh, new favorite uh chili recipe um setting up a new uh chili <laughs> um uh playlist uh, I don't know if I'm going to add to that at all. But um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe. Check out links in the description and all the good stuff. And uh, have a nice day.